they'll go back to exactly where they were. And what we can do using our little arrow that we've grown to love, we can collapse this entire combinator down just to a little half rack space. Let's open it back up again and click on Show Programmer. You can see that we have four devices in our combinator, a line mixer, and then our three instruments that are currently being played right across the keyboard. But you know what? Each of these guys here can have key ranges and we can set them much like we did back in the NNXT. So for example, the subtractor here, let's crop down its top note so that it only plays on the first octave and then we'll grab the NNXT and we'll drag that up so that it plays from C2 and above and do the same thing with Thor. Okay, so now we just have the subtractor here and then have the NNXT and Thor down here and actually let me bring up a better sound in Thor. Um, uh, female choir should be good. Okay, that should kind of give us a better... Okay, so we have piano and choir on our right hand side and bass on our left hand side. Now, let's imagine that we only wanted the choir to play when we hit really hard on the keyboard. With our Thor selected here, let's select a low velocity of 100, 101 here. So what that means is that we'll have bass on my left hand, on the right hand we'll have a piano, but if we hit hard, the choir comes in only if I play above this key and with a velocity harder of 101. So you're starting to kind of see the power of the combinator, stuff a whole bunch of devices inside a combinator. And with the programmer there, you can decide how each instrument will be played by your connected uh, keyboard here. You could drop in effects, uh, instruments, basically any device you want so that a pile of them can get mashed together, uh, can be just be seen as a single instrument. On the right hand side of this programmer, you can map certain sources to target parameters. So for example, if I went to subtractor here, I could map any one of these sources here, which include these four rotary knobs and the four buttons right here on the front panel of the combinator. And I could route them, for example, to say filter resonance, which is this slider down here. So now check it out. On the subtractor, this guy here is mapped to this guy. Okay, so keep an eye down here. Turn the rotary and there you go. I'm adjusting the resonance down here remotely from the front uh, keyboard, or sorry, the virtual front panel of the combinator. We can do the same thing with the buttons. If I went to the line mixer here, I could select, say, button one, and that could mute channel one, which is the control right down there. Keep an eye down here, and we're remotely muting that uh, uh, subtractor, that bass sound. If you like, you can double click here and you could name that something better bass. Uh, mute and enter. So that way you could close this whole combinator up and easily be able to adjust the resonance of that bass and also mute it remotely. So combinator is just a great way of combining devices and in fact you can make them a few different ways. Let me close this up and actually let me just delete this guy. So we can make combinators in a few different ways. We can right click create a combinator and then populate that combinator by right clicking here and creating instances of our favorite devices. We could do it that way or we could scroll down here and bring over the tool window and populate it that way. Just keep in mind that if you're populating this with a few different instruments you'll still need some sort of mixer up there so you'd probably want to go down all the way down here and just drop in a line mixer up the top and then flip this around and then make your connections the way you go. If we dropped in this mixer first then all these um, would have been made automatically. There's another way that you can do it if I could just delete this, um, this combinator is that you can make up a few uh, I don't know, let's go up here, NN19, NX, 
XT and a Maelstrom. You could make a few of these devices here and if you shift click them and then you can right click and combine them and now you'll notice they've all been placed into a new combinator. Of course we'd need to add a line mixer in here to mix the outputs of each of these guys. If you combine a few devices together just make sure that they're all plugged in to some kind of mixer within uh, within that combination. Uh, I normally use the 6.2 or 6 into 2 line mixer but if you're using any more than six devices you can always chain mixers together by dragging one mixer underneath another mixer. But instead of going through all the possible combinations uh, within a combinator patch. Let's just look at uh, one of the ones that also are available in the factory bank. In an empty rack we'll right click and select combinator, drop that in there 